Explorer 1, NASA's most distant traveling spacecraft, continues its extraordinary journey through space, consistently sending valuable data from the depths of the universe. For nearly five decades, this remarkable probe has reshaped our understanding of space. However, recent transmissions from this venerable spacecraft have sent waves through the scientific community, prompting questions. Are these unsettling signals merely technical anomalies, or could they be linked to extraterrestrial activity? Join us as we delve into the mystery behind these astonishing transmissions. Since the dawn of humanity, scientists have been captivated by the secrets of space beyond Earth's atmosphere. This fascination led to historic missions, including the launches of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These groundbreaking missions were carefully planned for years, and Voyager 2 lifted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. Just two weeks later on September 5, Voyager 1 followed suit. Each of these twin probes, weighing around 720 kilograms, roughly the size of a small car, was propelled into space during a rare alignment of the outer planets. On December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 overtook its twin due to differences in their trajectories, beginning its role as a significant source of invaluable information about space. Before we dive into Voyager 1's recent shocking discoveries that have stunned the entire space industry, let's revisit some of the probe's groundbreaking images and discoveries from its Jovian imaging mission in 1978. Positioned roughly 265 million kilometers from Earth, Voyager 1 transmitted a wealth of images back to Earth. In January 1979, it captured a mesmerizing time-lapse of Jupiter, showcasing ten rotations of the gas giant in stunning detail. This collection of 3,750 images offered an unparalleled look at Jupiter's captivating movements. During the subsequent months, Voyager 1 navigated Jupiter's moon system and made an astonishing discovery. A thin ring around Jupiter, as well as two previously unknown moons, further expanding our knowledge of the planet's complex environment. To ensure a safe passage and avoid a potential collision with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, Voyager 1's course was adjusted. It then continued its journey around Saturn, uncovering four additional moons, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea. This marked the peak of the Voyager planetary mission, at which point scientists extended the mission to push both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 beyond our solar system. Traveling through space at an impressive speed of 325 million kilometers per year, Voyager 1 embarked on the Voyager interstellar mission in January 1990. During this stage, it captured some of the most iconic images in history, preserving the sun and most of the planets in a family portrait. The renowned astronomer Carl Sagan, a member of the Voyager imaging team, was instrumental in advocating for this final set of images as a farewell gift to humanity. His determination paid off on February 14, 1990, when Voyager 1, positioned 6 billion kilometers from the Sun, captured the family portrait, a set of 60 breathtaking images that included the now iconic pale blue dot image of Earth. In 1989, Voyager 2 also made significant contributions to space exploration by capturing wind speeds on Neptune exceeding 13,100 meters per second, the fastest recorded in our solar system. As Voyager 2 flew within 280 miles of Neptune's blue methane atmosphere, it provided astonishing insights into this distant planet and revealed Triton, Neptune's largest moon, as one of the coldest places in the solar system, with surface temperatures dropping to minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton's unusual characteristics, including nitrogen gas-driven ice volcanoes propelling icy particles five miles into its atmosphere, further fueled our imaginations. Don't go anywhere. Voyager 1 recently made one of its most unsettling discoveries. But before we explore that, let's recap some of the probe's key accomplishments over its 45-year journey. The achievements of the Voyager twins have been nothing short of extraordinary. Decades ago, their initial observations of the moons around Jupiter and Saturn astonished scientists and shattered previous assumptions. Once thought to be dormant and heavily cratered like our own moon, these moons were revealed to have active geological activity. Voyager 2, in particular, made historic accomplishments, becoming the first spacecraft to fly by Uranus in 1986 and achieving another remarkable feat with its flyby of Neptune just three years later. To this day, 
it remains the only spacecraft to have visited these planets. As the Voyager probes continued their journeys, NASA implemented various strategies to extend their operational lifespans. In recent years, unnecessary components and heaters have been turned off to conserve energy, ensuring these pioneering probes can continue their mission until approximately 2030. For the scientists and engineers involved in this ambitious project since the beginning, the approaching end of the Voyager missions brings a mixture of pride and nostalgia. Their dedication has exceeded all initial expectations, returning a treasure trove of data, inspiring countless scientific discoveries, and igniting the imaginations of researchers and space enthusiasts around the world. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are no ordinary spacecraft. They were meticulously designed as stable platforms with a rotation rate over 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This careful design minimized visual blurring as the spacecraft captured images and data while journeying through the vastness of space. Even before their encounters with the outer planets, their impressive imaging capabilities amazed scientists and the public alike. As the spacecraft approached Jupiter, they began transmitting images of the gas giant's swirling clouds and its famous Great Red Spot, captivating audiences at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. But it was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io that truly stole the show. Io, slightly larger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically active body in our solar system. The spacecraft's instruments detected unusual signals from Io, later confirmed by images of towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by eruptions. One of Io's most prominent volcanoes erupted with over 100 times the force of Mount St. Helens. Voyager 1's journey continues, and it recently detected a signal that has Helen, puzzled covering scientists. an area nearly the size of France, was the last major feature captured by the shuttle's cameras before they were shut down to conserve power and memory for the spacecraft's journey into interstellar space. Notably, the photos did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. Alongside Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, NASA has also launched other notable spacecraft like Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. Voyager 1 surpassed Pioneer 10's distance on February 17, 1998, marking the point when it became the farthest human-made object. Voyager 1 continued on its solo journey for another 14 years, ultimately entering interstellar space on August 25, 2012, a milestone NASA officially announced in 2013. What contributed to the success of the Voyager missions? One key strategy stood out. Gravitational assist maneuvers. These maneuvers played a vital role in propelling Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 on their ambitious mission to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. To reach these distant targets and gather invaluable data, the spacecraft required more than just their own propulsion systems. They needed a boost. Gravitational assists provided exactly that. Imagine Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 embarking on a grand tour of the solar system, utilizing the immense gravitational forces of planets to slingshot themselves toward their destinations. This technique allowed them to conserve fuel and achieve the necessary speed to reach multiple destinations. Delving into the mechanics of gravitational assists, also known as gravitational slingshots, we find that the principle involves transferring some of a planet's energy to the spacecraft as it passes by. For instance, when Voyager 1 approached Jupiter, the giant planet's massive gravitational pull accelerated the spacecraft, giving it a critical boost. Executing a successful gravitational assist maneuver requires incredible precision. If Voyager 1 had approached Jupiter at the wrong angle or speed, the slingshot effect could have diverted it off course. The level of accuracy needed is staggering, yet the brilliant minds behind the mission executed these assists multiple times, driving the Voyagers on a breathtaking journey across the solar system. Voyager 2, for instance, used gravitational assists from Jupiter and Saturn to reach Uranus and Neptune, enabling the grand tour to become a reality. These gravitational assists were instrumental in the success of the Voyager missions. Voyager 1 eventually reached interstellar space, with Voyager 2 close behind, crossing beyond our solar boundary. As we await further data from Voyager 1's anomaly investigation, we reflect on the remarkable journey of these pioneering spacecraft and the wealth of information they have provided. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2's accomplishments include detailed observations of Jupiter and its moons. 
Time-lapse images of Jupiter captured by Voyager 1 revealed ten full rotations of the gas giant in vivid detail, and new moons and rings were discovered, greatly enhancing our understanding of Jupiter's complex system. Saturn and its moons were similarly studied, with precision maneuvers ensuring a safe passage near Titan, while new discoveries included four additional moons around Saturn. The Voyagers also collected groundbreaking data on Neptune, recording the highest wind speeds ever observed, exceeding 1,300 meters per second, and providing insights into Triton, one of the coldest known bodies in the solar system with surface temperatures dropping to minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Voyager 2 observed Triton's nitrogen geysers ejecting icy particles, a phenomenon unique in our solar system. The interstellar phase of Voyager 1's mission, beginning in August 2012, marked humanity's first venture into interstellar space, a milestone publicly confirmed by NASA in 2013. Among the iconic images captured, Voyager 1's pale blue dot, taken from 6 billion kilometers away, remains one of the most famous photographs in space exploration history. The success of the Voyager missions owes much to the gravitational assists, a slingshot technique allowing the spacecraft to gain speed and alter course by passing close to large planets. These maneuvers, carefully planned, conserved fuel, and extended the missions far beyond their original design. NASA's Deep Space Network, DSN, a system of powerful radio antennas in California, Spain and Australia, was crucial for the Voyager missions. This network enabled continuous communication with the spacecraft, allowing data transmission back to Earth and sending commands to adjust trajectories and modify instruments. This connectivity ensured the missions could continue, despite being billions of miles away. However, recent anomalies with Voyager 1 have raised questions. Odd signals hinting at uncertainty about its exact location and a malfunctioning onboard computer have puzzled scientists. NASA's investigation is focused on the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, which is responsible for the spacecraft's orientation and communication. This system might have encountered a glitch, causing it to send data through an inactive, faulty computer. Two environmental factors, cosmic radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations in space, may have impacted the spacecraft's electronics, possibly leading to data corruption or memory errors. While less likely, the notion of interference by extraterrestrial intelligence remains speculative. As we continue to examine the peculiarities of Voyager 1, its legacy, along with that of Voyager 2, remains firmly embedded in the annals of space exploration. The missions expanded our understanding of the outer planets and demonstrated the resilience and ingenuity needed to explore the cosmos. With an anticipated mission end date in 2030, these spacecraft will have contributed decades of scientific discovery and technological innovation. The data and insights they've gathered will continue to guide and inspire future missions, ensuring the spirit of exploration and pursuit of knowledge that launched the Voyagers lives on as humanity ventures deeper into the universe, carrying forward the lessons and pioneering spirit embodied by Voyager 1 and Voyager 2.